Hello and I hope you are ready for today's session which is on a subject that is very dear to your hearts. Don't tell me that you don't know anything about it because we are going to talk about dance reality shows. Now I'm sure most of you have seen dance reality shows because every television channel produces one and I don't know which is your favorite but I'm going to talk about dance reality shows in general. Now these are some of the most entertaining programs on the air right now. They are more than just dance reality shows. For actually, they soften the edge of competition, which is what they really are, with the reality element. Now this is not reality element as real life element only. This is how television understands the reality element. These are all competitive dance shows that include that element of reality series that follow the professional dancers as they prepare for the competition which includes a liberal dose of sweat, tears, fights and stress as well as interesting nuggets of their daily lives. These dance reality shows therefore have a very high wow quotient and a sense of instant connect with the performers as well as a sense of instant gratification. This is how they differ from classical dance and folk dance. While classical dance is about solo excellence arrived at after years of a very intensive practice and training in folk dance which is a inclusive kind of community dancing and consequently which makes an attempt to carry all with it the tempo gets linked to the capacities of the last man dance reality shows in contrast while having a very high degree of practice is actually item driven and competition oriented. Now this competition is often among equally trained multiple bodies. I say equally trained because when it comes to the choreographic options, they need to be treated not just as solos but as duet, trio or group items. Now dance reality shows not just thrill us but they appeal to all for they create an emotional bond. The stirring of the emotions comes equally from the content of the dance as much as from the stories of the dancers themselves. The lives of dancers have been fairly secret so far. Have they been deliberately hidden? Maybe because once dance suffered from stigma. Or maybe it is hidden because it is so labor intensive. Well, whatever be the reason, the fact of the matter is that they fascinate us. Thus, dance reality shows with an equal stress on dance and on the dancer allow us a certain interest level as well as a certain voyeuristic element. Now let us be sure about what we understand is a very important term that we are using, the reality show. A reality show is supposed to be that show which is based on real occurrences and often features an otherwise unknown cast. It is not supposed to have a script and it depends on instantaneous and spontaneous interactions. Reality shows differ from documentary television in as much as the focus tends to be on drama and personal conflicts. Remember, I told you sweat, tears, fights, stress. Well, reality TV programs often bring participants into situations and environments that they would otherwise never be a part of. This genre has various subtropes including confessionals used by cast members 
to express their thoughts, their innermost feelings, and all of this doubles up as the show's narration. In competition-based reality shows, which is a subset of all reality shows, there are many other common features such as the, participation, uh, the participant becoming uh, eliminated, often one per episode, having a panel of judges who are experts in the field with whom the participant interacts, and the concept of immunity from elimination. I'm sure you understand all these terms because you do watch dance reality shows. Reality shows are supposed to be in contrast to the scripted TV soaps that Indian audiences are so fond of. In fact, reality shows, because of their supposed unexpectedness and non-linear possibilities, uh, show progression and enthusiasm developing as the show progresses. However, most reality shows are not exactly what you think they are. They are not quite free-flowing. In fact, broad strokes are pretty much prefixed and sometimes they can be anticipated. I'm sure you've been able to anticipate many twists and turns in reality shows. Yet the TRP of these reality shows is always found to be more than of other regular kind of TV programs. Leading newspaper editor Shekhar Gupta refers to the sudden abundance of such shows as marking the new phase, the renaissance as it were, of culture in India in the wake of the economic spurt in India following the opening up of the Indian economy in 1991. The money and sponsorship support from corporate sponsors that classical and folk dance have failed to attract has started coming to these shows instead. Most TV dance reality shows bear very positive, gung-ho kind of names like Nacho Balie, Jalak Dikhlaja, India's Got Talent, as if encapsulating the new energy of an upwardly mobile, youth-driven India. What is the impact of dance reality shows on dancers? Now, competition-based dance reality shows have opened up the possibilities of national fame for small town and semi-rural populations and have made celebrities of very unlikely personalities. These shows have leveled the playing field for dance. Earlier, professional dance enjoyed the tag of being elitist especially classical dance, because the state patr patronage paradigm that we adopted after independence prioritized classical dance. As state patronage for the classical arts grew, dance in India was seeing a disconnect from its population. Dance reality shows democratized dance and have created an alternative center for showcasing and an alternative pathway for rising to fame. This has created a new source for encouragement and valorization that were once the exclusive preserves of the state in India. The national state still does not see any of these popular dance presentations as a desirable reflection of the state of art in India. It has not happened this far, and nor does it appear likely that dance reality show winners will be selected for a Padma Award, a performance at Rashtrapati Bhavan, or state housing. But things change, and today, as the Indian Council of Cultural Relations, which is the cultural diplomacy arm of the Ministry of External Affairs, is being compelled to impanel Bollywood troops for government-sponsored shows abroad, there may well come a day when some cult performances that have earned their stripes on a dance reality show get a similar opportunity. For the moment, however, as dance reality shows become big, inspired by the popularity that these shows enjoy on television, an increasingly large number of people 
are looking at dance as a career now and as a means of getting out of say the poverty trap and as a key to opening the door to Alibaba's caves with the possibility of changing their lives forever. When the first dance reality show began about 15 years ago, Boogie Woogie was its name and it had Javed Jafri who founded it and who was also a judge on it. The dancers who came were not sure about dance reality shows and hence they were not flamboyant. This holds true to some extent even for the first season of some of the other shows like Dance India Dance that eventually broke new ground and catapulted to prominence. But today, dance reality shows have redefined flamboyance. Today, people train themselves for years to participate in dance reality shows and approach the dance professionally, not as a hobby. There is an element of risk involved. But then this is the passionate spirit of India today. Young India doesn't shy from taking risks. Even secure MBA professionals are preferring to take risks with startups rather than going into the labyrinth of large companies where they feel that they would get lost within corporate corridors. Passion-driven dancers are prepared to take risks. For today, the stakes are quite high, just as they are for passion-driven sportspersons, particularly cricketers, footballers, and even kabaddi players. Quite definitely, young India appears to prefer different things. For instance, it uh, prefers an experiential life over a safe choice of lifestyles. They are um, willing to be responsible for their life and bear its consequences. Dancers on such dance reality shows are not really thinking at that moment on a very long-term basis. They evidently love dance enough to want to risk putting all the eggs in that basket, at least for that period of their life. The daily excitement that such a show affords, including meeting new people, learning new forms, preparing new choreographies, is a very big draw for them. The hope of getting to the pot of gold keeps them going, spending time with like-minded and similarly driven people keeps the excitement alive for them. Now tell me, doesn't working on this course and these kind of subjects make it a very exciting and fascinating course? The learning is immense for them and I hope for you too. And the fast-paced life that they lead, the reality show dancers, with the sort of daily up and down, roller coaster kind of moves, it makes life such an adventure. You know, in your professional career, you're always presented with two choices. One is to take the safe route, the regular route, the oft-trodden path. But the second is the more exciting option. It is to take the plunge into the rough seas. It's all about guts and glory, where the falling is hard and the rise can be rapid. Your work speaks for you and in a flash, your life can change forever. Dance show participants reveal their faith in the power of dreams. A faith that has to be reaffirmed on a daily basis with no guarantees of returns either at the end or in the interim. Let us study now the impact of reality shows on the audience. Dance reality shows feature all kinds of different dance styles including jazz, Bollywood, acrobatic dancing, ballet, ballroom and hip-hop to mention just a few. For fans of dancing in all its many forms dance competitions on TV can be a great escape from the humdrumness of daily life without so much as stepping out of your home and without spending unnecessarily. Due to the high visibility of these programs and the variety that they offer in the hope of attracting and retaining eyeballs, the dance scenario in the country appears to have changed and a whole lot of people have become 
far more educated about different dance forms than they ever were. What the dance reality shows have revealed is the amount of unseen, unexpected, unexplored and untapped talent in the country. Even those who know their dance were not prepared for some of the gems revealed by these shows. One such gem was the Prince Dance Group that won the reality show India's Got Talent on Colors TV. Hailing from remote Behrampur in Odisha, the group consisted of 20 economically and socially disadvantaged members, including construction workers and manual laborers. Amongst the group were two differently abled dancers. The award announced by the Odisha state government once they had won the award and competition, the four acres of land that was gifted to them to open their academy has changed their lives forever in unimaginable ways. Incidentally, in the music segment that year, the Shillong Choir won the award. Hailing from little known Northeast, the Shillong Choir was suddenly catapulted to national fame. Since then, it has had the most illustrious trajectory and has performed on some of the most prestigious stages in the country and internationally. The Prince Dance Group has not reached the same heights, but with good management, even they could experience similar glory. Many of the shows travel to different cities in India as their teams scout for talent, thereby casting their net far and wide. The youth-oriented focus gives a chance to a neglected segment of the Indian population, which in remote parts enjoys extremely limited access to opportunities. By encouraging group performances, the platform that such shows provide multiplies the benefits to a larger audience. Interestingly, dance reality shows have also had an impact on film choreography. Choreographer-director Remo D'Souza, who started his TV journey with the first season of Dance India Dance as a mentor in 2009 and who has been part of several other dance shows, including Jhalak Diklaja and Nachbaliye, feels that dance-based reality TV shows have over the years had the effect on Bollywood. This effect has been the influx of new forms in the dancing style of the film industry. Now, as the level of comprehension is higher amongst movie-going audiences, their expectations have also increased. They want thrilling and smartly presented dancing on the big screen and are keen on a cosmopolitan dance experience. Initially, styles like breakdance, hip-hop were amongst the more progressive forms, but today you have actors doing crumping, contemporary and everything else. And Raymond D'Souza should know, after all, he is very well known in the Bollywood film choreography field as he won an award for his choreography of Battami's Dil from the film Ye Jawani Hai Diwani and who has also directed the two sensational dance-based film franchises ABCD and ABCD2. Some well-known dance reality shows in India include India's Got Talent. Now, this reality show is based on a concept taken from the American show America's Got Talent. The contestants are selected by judges via auditions that take place in several cities. The judges make the final selection of performers in the show. Several eliminations take place in the show. In the last rounds, the audience too gets to vote for the deserving participants to stay on. A handsome amount of money is awarded to the winner of the shows. Kiran Kher, Malaika Arora Khan and Karan Johar are the judges. Not all of them have an association with dance, but then celebrity dumb is also something that can push your case for being selected as a judge. Dance India Dance is another dance reality show. The show is one of the best dance shows in India till date. The theme concept used by several dancers has been outstanding. This dance competition show has a different type of uh, dance visualization going in. 
the contestants go through two different auditions some dance forms like ballet hip-hop and ballroom and latino which is taught to the contestants before they perform it the dance competitors get proper training by bollywood choreographers in all these dance forms the winner gets a handsome amount of money geeta kapoor terence lewis and remu de souza are judges while a new category of the grandmaster has been created in this show and the grandmaster is mithun chakrabarti jhalak dikhlaja is another very popular dance reality show the contestants perform on pre-recorded songs and try to give their best in both imagination and performance jhalak dikhlaja has had some exceptional dancers the contestants are judged by both the judges judges panel and the audience the contestant performers are generally famous romantic couples selected by the producers madhuri dikshit karan johar and rimu de souza are judges let us now talk about rumjhum rumjhum was a reality show presented on doordarshan in fact doordarshan's franchise bharat ki shaan was extended to dance with rumjhum Rum Jum saw a competition between Indian classical and western dancers to bring out the cultural values from different parts of the world. It was conceptualized and created by Gajendra Singh, the man behind hit TV shows like Antakshri and The Voice of India. The show has been developed by renowned classical dancer Sonal Man Singh, who was seen for the first time on Indian television as the Guru Shreshtha, the supreme judge. who took the final call on elimination since there was no voting mansing saw this as a strategy to bridge the schism between the popular and pure arts it was hoped that the show would let the country discover new talents and that the country would discover through this show its own diversity richness and beauty sandeep soparkar whose forte is ballroom and latino dancing and kathak dancer sandeep mahavir judged the show unlike other dance reality shows rumjhum did not encourage celebrities to promote their films on the show but it did have a galaxy of celebrities who visited the set and added value to the show one of the highlights of the show was the salsa dance that the anchor of the show shweta salve performed with the non indian section judge ballroom and latino king of india sandeep soparkar how do dance reality shows really work as a case in point let us take the show dance india dance it has become india's largest dance based reality show the show was first premiered on 30th january 2009 it features a format where dancers within the age group of 15 to 30 from all over india perform a variety of styles in an open audition format which is held in the metropolitan cities of India if they move forward they are then put through the mega audition rounds of the show which tests their ability to adapt to different styles the contestants perform before a panel of judges composed of Terence Lewis, Raymond D'Souza and Geeta Kapoor the selection of the season's top 18 finalists are overseen by the head judge Mithun Chakravarti at the end of the mega auditions only 18 dancers are chosen as finalists who move on to compete in the main phase where they will perform solo duet and group dance numbers in a variety of styles the competition at this point goes up for votes as the broadcast viewing audience all gets to say their bit Thus it is a combination of the input of panel judges and voting which determines which dancer gets to stay on and what advantage they receive from week to week. The show features a variety of Indian cultural and international dance forms. Competitors attempt to master these styles in an effort to survive every successive week of eliminations and win the cash prize which is about 50 lakh rupees. The prize however is not lo- limited to just the money often other awards are woven in as well the title of india's best dancer is given to the one who wins the award the show is choreographed wins the award 
Dance India Dance has ended up becoming a very successful franchise. It has spun many supplementary shows, including Dance Ke Superstars, based on featuring contestants from previous seasons to compete against one another, Dance India Dance Supermom, which started in 2013, in which aspiring mothers get a chance to showcase their talent and keep alive what they term as their umid. DID Dance Katashan, featuring contestants from Dance India Dance Supermoms, competing against contestants from Dance India Dance Little Masters. And Dance India Dance Little Masters, which is a reality show for children, are some of the shows in the franchise. Among winners of Little Masters were Jitumani Kolita in Season 1, Faisal Khan in Season 2 and Teria Magyar in Season 3. Magyar is a Nepalese and she was subsequently awarded the title of Lumbini Peace Ambassador by the Nepalese government. Dance India Dance Little Masters North America edition is the newest of the franchise. Auditions were conducted in April 2014 and attracted as many as 10,000 contestants auditioning from all across United States, Canada and Europe. Out of them, only 10 contestants were chosen and were flown to Mumbai to compete in the finals. Reality shows have received much criticism. Some of the criticism includes the fact that they are intended to humiliate or exploit participants, that they make stars out of either untalented people, unworthy of fame or infamous personalities or both, and that they glamorize materialism. Some claim that they trivialize life with many participants using the performance to make some of life's most important decisions before a national audience. In fact, one of such dance reality television's latest TRP tripping gimmick is to get telecouples participating in a show to confess their real feelings to each other in front of a studio audience and judges. With the co-participants and parents wishing them either in person or via FaceTime, the very best in their lives together. Some that come to mind are Upen Patel who proposed to Karishma Tana in Nach Baliye. Sushant Singh Rajput and Ankita Loghande's love story may have started on the sets of another show but created a small screen mushy moment when Sushant unexpectedly proposed to her on the dance reality show Jhalak Dikhlaja 4 in 2011. A tearful Ankita was stunned but later accepted his proposal. Even Ritvik Dhanjani and Asha Negi had a similar story. They shot into fame with a different serial, but after nixing rumors of their romance, they participated in Nach Baliye 6, and Ritvik went on to propose to Asha on his knees with a guitar in his hand and a song on his lips. These three stories suggest not just the desire to live publicly, but also that Dance reality shows are seeking participants around whom there is some curiosity already and around whom an interesting story can be built which throws out of the window the reality tag of the show. A recent petition filed against a reality show citing exploitation of children refocused on a long ongoing debate on whether children should be part of showbiz or not. Some people even consider a child participating in a reality show as child labour because the child labour law prevents children under the age of 14 from working. According to psychologists and other experts, reality shows for children are not a healthy concept as children undergo a lot of stress. The harsh comments of the judges can be difficult for them to handle. They may take criticism or rude remarks very seriously. They may feel humiliated if they are given a negative comment on their performance on national television, which their friends are watching. The fear of rejection puts more pressure on them. Further, according to experts, children who participate in reality shows achieve sudden fame. Everybody knows them and suddenly they are all in the limelight. When they are not in the limelight anymore and the fame recedes and fades away, they find it difficult to cope. 
Not every child is able to take it in his stride and the deep frustration can often result in thoughts of self-harm. Pressure from parents can do further damage to their formative personalities. Many parents push their children to perform better. They put too much pressure on the children this way. Also, some parents put so much pressure on the children that when the children get negative remarks on their performance, they are afraid to face their parents. Sometimes the reason for pressurizing their kids to participate in the reality show is the lure of the prize money. Many a time, the big prize money in the, is the reason why parents put their children into the reality show and put pressure on their children. Sometimes the children are not talented enough or passionate enough, but still the parents push them in the hope of the big win. All of this damages the children. It is evident that dance reality shows demand an endless amount of practice. The long hours of practice and rehearsals can become very tiring physically, not to say emotionally. Studies and other activities of the child who participates in dance reality shows may suffer. Many a times, such children have to compromise on their homework or for preparation of exams because of the schedules of the reality shows. They have to spend long hours of their time waiting for their turn in front of the camera. Additionally, many children are exposed in these shows to inappropriate language, conversation and even adult jokes. I don't know whether that is the ideal exposure for a child. In fact, there have been some few occasions of, of fatal consequences amongst children who have not been able to handle the pressure in dance reality shows. And the pressure doesn't come just from the high pressured schedules, but from disappointments. Experts advise that children should be taught how to deal with failure beforehand itself. And as you well know, that is hardly the kind of thing one teaches. It is assumed that you will take it along and grow with it. But if your child is going in for a dance reality show, I think there is an urgency to prepare your child not just on how to dance well, but also how to deal with any of the two extremes, big success or failure. The frustration arising from failure is a very strong motivator in human behavior. Parents should not be so glamour struck that they pressurize the children for fame or star status. The mind of the child is very soft and needs to be protected. Children should have a very strong support system if they participate in dance reality shows. A system that can help them to deal with both success and very importantly with failure. Mm -hmm.